All right, guys, here we are this morning, our first catch. And uh, basically, we just got a little levee system here, and there's a, a good little trail going down it. And right here, we had a, something working in and out, heavy, in, out, in and out of this hole. So uh, we set a, a small conibear guarding this hole, and we've got us a skunk this morning. So I'm gonna get him taken care of and, uh, and we'll keep on moving. All right guys, there's that, there's that uh, trap set back in there guarding that hole. And uh, there's our skunk. There's our prize right there. So, so I'll get you on, we'll walk back out of here. I'll show you just another little set. I've seen a cat track coming down this trail. So uh, basically you can just see the trail just that they use winding around through there. And because I've seen that, that cat track, let's see. Had a snare. Had a snare right here and I don't see it. Uh, there it is. Well, basically right here in this trail it could have been this skunk come under because I had it set. I had the uh, had the snare set high, a little bit higher for a skunk than if I'd have been targeting a cat. But, You just said one one night's all that bunny would last. You're wrong. Oh, he didn't have any. He didn't have any visitors last night. Or if he did, they didn't. They didn't check our traps out. But right here, right here is where we had that coyote caught yesterday and, and made the remake on this set. And I'll show you this other other hole right over here. And basically, just kind of a little ledge right here to come down. And we've got a hole. Hole right here in the garden, uh, trap garden, garden it there. But all right, my good bunny, do your job tonight. All right, guys, got something here. As I come down through here, I saw a beaver sitting up here on this on this edge and uh, it's the one we were after here in this trap let's see where to go there he is so uh, basically i guess this is the uh this is the third day that this trap's been here uh second or third i don't exactly remember I'll go back and watch the videos but yeah yeah, this, this is the second check day. So I set the trap on the first day and then we come back yesterday and had a raccoon uh, caught in it. And then uh, this is the third day. Uh, we finally got what we were after and we got the beaver here. So uh, basically all it is, uh, I seen these chews and stuff over here on the other side on this levee. It was too deep for me to get over there. So uh, we just uh, made, us, made us a uh, uh, caster mound set right here on the on the bottom of this uh crossover we put a caster mount right up there on that hump with some scent on it and then set our trap bedded in the water right there below it so uh anyhow i'm gonna i'm gonna get him out of this trap and uh, get this reset and keep moving along Yeah. 
a good good two-year-old there guys when you're catching them live and uh you got them on a cable extension be sure to check your cable and got a good kink there another good kink here just got it anchored to that tree I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. This cable isn't isn't uh, splayed yet, so I'm gonna leave it and reset it for one more catch. I'll probably regret it when I come back and won't have a trap. Uh, heard a good friend of mine say the other day that a shortcut is uh, always a bad idea. That's when it comes back and bites you. And this is definitely a shortcut, but we're gonna do it today because we're in a little bit of a hurry. You see some battle scars there on that beaver. He's been fighting. Another beaver took the end of his tail off there. So, uh, I get this reset. Set back down in here. All right, so. basically all we've got all I've done here is every time I've gotten in and out I've just slid off this edge dragged my feet to kind of disturb the area and then just right here below it right here below it I place that trap there in the water and I'm gonna go ahead and redo this caster mount I'm just gonna drag some some fresh mud and, and dirt and debris off the bottom take some of our lure and it's just a caster base lure we're just gonna get a little generous amount generous amount of it here and we're gonna place it right there on top of that caster mound so the next beaver comes down through here, smell it, smell that strange beaver, and want to come over here and investigate and hopefully step in our trap like this one did. But, all right guys, right up here, it's all of our predator sets. Hopefully we've got something in one of those. All right, I showed you guys this area just, I believe the second day, I put this foothold right here on top of this side of this big ditch. And uh, since then, there's just this right here is just a heck of an intersection for predators. We've got this big, big ditch coming down through here and all this overgrowth, and we've got the snare down there on the end of it. But uh, what I've done since, uh, I've got one foothold right down here in the edge of this little small clearing right on the point. It's been messed with the last two days. A coon just got in there and kind of dug it up a little bit. But uh, it wasn't messed with this morning. But since then, coming here, you can just you can just see all these hopefully you can just see all these predator tracks now here's a trail where they've been going down that ditch and i've got a snare guarding that trail there and uh let's just come right along here we've got another trail going off the edge of this dirt mound over here but i put a put a foothold here in a dirt hole and then right up here i've got another foothold so we come in here and we just gang set this whole area. So one morning we're going to show up and have some catches right up here. And we just got to wait for them to come back through. And then right here was our other snare. And it's still, actually it's knocked over. And then we're going to get it, get it set back up. All right, guys, here's a, Here's a set. I just wanted to walk you through something, I think, in for just a minute. Uh, I've got a drowning rod right down here at the bottom, and I can still see the trap set. I don't think you guys will be able to, but it's not been messed with. And then over here was the bank den that we had set with the two 330s. I had one hole going in, and uh, actually two holes going in. One coming across uh, that hill there and coming out the other side, and then one going into the hut. Uh, 
we got our flags. I remember guys remember tying our flags on so it'd be a marker and we wouldn't have to make a trip down there every day. But if I was if I was beginning trapping and I didn't have a whole lot of trap shit, didn't have an inventory to, to keep setting as I went along, uh, the very first day we set this, I had one beaver caught on this uh, drowning rod. And then this is our, uh, this is gonna be our sixth check day and I haven't had any activity here at this spot since then. So if I didn't have very many traps and I was wanting to catch animals, I would pull these three traps out of here and I would go to another location and put them there. But uh, since, I, since I've still got traps in the, in the ranger that I hadn't put out yet, I'm, I'm just gonna leave them here in case an otter comes through and checks everything out or if, if there just happens to be a beaver hold up in that lodge not coming out, uh, hopefully I, I can pick him up. But, uh, but anyway, just wanted to pass that along. We still got several traps to check, so, so stick with me. We'll get down here and we'll get these checked. Same thing here, guys. Which looks like we may have a catch here this morning. I've got a drowning rod, our trap's gone. So we're gonna get it pulled up and and see if we don't have a catch here. I think we caught, I believe we caught a raccoon in this trap uh, one morning already. Yeah, I can see the tail sticking up there in the water. Not sure if you guys can, looks like a small one. But uh, yeah, got us another, another kit here. So I'm trying to help this uh, this hunting lodge out. So so we're happy happy to have those get them out of here. Now this we got one more trap just down a little ways. That was where we had the uh, 330 set in the channel and uh, had a beaver caught the first morning also, and uh, that's where I fell in. Fell in never did touch bottom. Anyway, I'm gonna get this thing reset and we'll get up there and check that last that last check Or last set we've got for this colony here So this is number three out of this colony this little bit of area that we've caught uh, As much water as there is here And us having those traps right around that hut uh, That's the same colony of beaver too So like I said, if you didn't have very many traps, I'd pull some of the, some of the traps out of this area and move them to a new location. But All right. well, that's basically it. I move this trap back here a little bit farther. You can set it up here, just under the water's edge. If you want to get a front foot catch, I'm gonna. Set it back here a little ways, hoping that we can get a back foot catch. I'm just gonna take that stick and shove in there. And that, that just tells me if, if I catch something and my trap goes past this stick, it's gonna drag the stick with it. So that's just a quick little thing that I can do. I can check the trap from up there on top of the hill and I have to walk down this little hill every day. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit, of, a little bit more caster right here on this set. And got it all over my finger there. All right, I'll get him up here and keep moving. All right, guys, we're back here and we got another catch. ugly little critters again when they're wet. My daughter, she likes to call them wet coons instead of a raccoon. She says they're wet coons. She thinks it's funny. Anyway, I'm gonna get him taken care of and uh, get this trap set back in here. This is a trap. We hadn't made a catch. We had one miss the first morning. The trap was drug off down there, nothing in it. May have been one of these guys. Probably not, or he'd have still been, been in the trap drowned. But... And then, uh, had a miss the second morning and I, I set the trap up here and we had the otter catch on the other side. 
left the trap unset and then yesterday it wasn't messed with and and today uh we've got us a, a wet coon so uh, i'm gonna get him taken care of get this trap set back down here get this this fixed back up and uh if we've got a anything in the other trap on the other side of this crossover i'll i'll let you guys know all right we're here at our last traps this morning this is where we had the beaver beaver caught yesterday and made this remake here and this morning i get here to my traps and almost what it looks like to me is a coon saw my extension cable and reached down here playing with my extension cable and pulled that trap up out of the bed i don't know if you guys can tell it real well but that that trap's laying in there sideways up on the hill like something to grab the extension cable and pulled it up so uh we'll get it get it put put back in there embedded good and this time i'm gonna make sure my extension cable is down in the water so nothing can grab it again we're just gonna splash a little bit of water back up here on this fake caster mount that we made might grab a little bit of fresh mud from the bottom throw up here just get it to shine and throw a little bit more a little bit more scent on there and uh call that good check be back check it again tomorrow yeah, guys that's it for this morning a little bit of a mixed bag there we ended up with ended up with two more beavers and then uh that raccoon and and that skunk there but uh they're all predators i mean we're we're down here mainly after after beavers want to catch coyotes and bobcats too these others they we get aggravated because they uh, clog our sets up so if they're they're caught in a trap i can't get the beaver that comes along behind them because the trap's already occupied but uh when it boils right down to it they're all they're all nuisance animals they're all the beavers uh, stop up dam up hold water chew trees down you know the raccoons and skunks eat eggs so uh any of your turkeys or uh, birds they're a real nuisance on that so anyway so we're 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 slowly picking away at them and uh, doing some good down here so we're going to keep at it we'll be back down here tomorrow and uh, pick up a few more a few more tomorrow thanks again for watching guys and uh, have a great day